beautiful people how's everybody doing today i want to ask you a serious question and i want you to definitely leave me a comment to let me know your answer are you suffering from a little amazon itis <laughs> if you're like me since we have been uh, quarantined and not allowed to go out of the house for so many things i have been i have been spending so much time on amazon and i bought some things that i want to share with you today okay so how does that sound i'm it's not that i'm trying to inspire you to go shopping but if you do the link is in the description <laughs> you can go over to my shop and see the all of the um, on my Amazon influencer page you'll see that I have set up uh, live streaming gear and I also have my podcasting gear and smart home which is what we're going to talk about today I got a bunch of other stuff over there as well and this morning I would like to say hey 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 to Studio Geek and also to my good good friend Katie, how are you, Katie? And then Liz is here today, and uh, she's from the Aromatic Wisdom Institute. And yes, okay, so some of you may have seen in the past I talked about Amazon Echo, all right? And so I want to warn you today, I'm going to be giving some commands. What are you doing it for? So, however, what I have done is I have changed my wake word, all right? So uh, it won't be the typical wake word that most of you guys use. So she's actually talking back to me now because I even said Amazon. <laughs> That's okay, Liz. I know you'll get it right. Hey, Richard. Richard is there as well. And uh, so what I want to do is show off my latest acquisition in the world of uh, Echo devices and that is going to be the Echo Show. OMG. I, I want y'all to know, oh see she's showing me off Prime Video. I want you to know that I was really pleased to get this because I uh, had already use the regular echo which I have over here as well and um, Sorry, th I'm not sure. this is giving me so much more functionality for example one of the things that I like to do in the morning is I have my flash briefings already set up okay so all I have to do is say, remember, I changed my wake word. So my, my, my wake word won't be Lexi. It's going to be Echo. Echo, what's new? Echo, stop. So I want you to see that I was able to just say the wake word and it, by the way if you need to change your wake word all you have to do is summon your device with your traditional wake word let's say it's Lexi Lexi change my wake word and then you have these choices you can change it to A-L-E-X-A <laughs> I won't say that one because that's the, that's the one that's on by default or you can change it to E-C-H-O, which is what I have on, or you can change it to Amazon, or you can change it to computer. And the other thing that's really cool about doing that is that if you have multiple devices like I do now, you can have multiple different wake words, which is really good because sometimes they're in close proximity to one another, and you say the wake word, and then all of a sudden, it uh, starts uh, spouting out to you in, from two different devices. Hey, Rob, Balasabas, great. Thank you so much for coming. 
So let's do something else. And like I said, for those of you who just got here, I have changed my wake word, but you would just replace yours with mine. All right. So it's echo. Go to my home screen. So what I've decided was that I wanted to have nature scenes on my home screen. But there's other choices that you can have here. Let's see if we can get that to come up. Well, she's a little finicky. There you go. Plus, I'm using my left hand. So, <laughs> so here's the different ways you that you can set it up. And uh, let's see. I think what I had to do, well, you can set up routines. That's another thing that's really good to have. You can also, of course, create your shopping list and all of that inside of the device. So the reason, one of the reasons, like I said, that I like having this device as opposed to just having the, the regular Echo, which, by the way, is here. I have her turned off, though. I have this other one turned off. And this is the one that I have with the um, charging charging case, so it's actually portable. You can't see it too well. I can't. I don't want to get both of them in the shot right now, anyway. So let's see. What else can I? Uh, Echo. What's new? I can easily go to the next one. So, for example, Pod News from James Critlin. Oh, my gosh, I love listening to my podcasting news every day. But sometimes what happens is, because I listen to it in the morning, of course, I'm bustling around and getting myself ready, you know, for working from home or whatever. I may leave in the middle or walk into another room in the middle of, listening to my briefing and if you don't have the show what happens is you have to start it all over from the beginning but with the show I can I love this I can fast forward and scrub through and get back to the spot where I left off and oh my gosh that's really great for some of those briefings that are super long and then I can scrub through let me just show you this is one of the uh in fact i definitely want to give a shout out to dr terry fisher he has a podcast that's about using alexa it's focused on canadians but i listen to this every day and every single day he has a briefing that keeps you up to date with all the things that are going on with uh, the device and today was a day that the, this show, which I recently purchased, is on sale. But I needed an additional one. In fact, not that exact model is on sale, but I needed an additional one for my daughter. And so I'm glad he gave me the, um, the lowdown. So by the way, like I said, there's a link in the description. You can go over to my shop, which is Amazon.shop. Amazon.com slash shop slash Eileen Smith. I should put a ticker up about that. But in the meantime, I also want to show you guys, this is kind of a little um, tip, tip for those of us who are using uh, Twitch, but also if you're using Ecamm Live, you can notice these little emotes that I have going across the screen. There's, there's just one thing that I just wanted to show off. And like I said, it works with Ecamm Live, but it's actually a Stream Labs widget. And so I can pick different ones to display on screen. So how about we get some wings going there? And I just love this new uh, widget. So anyway, this is for, it works with OBS, of course, but it also works with Ecamm Live. I just figured I would throw that in there since I just set it up last night. And let's see, I also have a comment from Richard. I have the Google Next Hub Max 10-inch screen. 
includes Google Duo for video chat and also YouTube. I have random pictures showing now on mine too. Yes. Now what I can do is upload my uh, pictures into Amazon Photo and then I could have my own pictures showing on there as well. So that, that's another thing that I love to do with it. So now let's get to the title of this broadcast, which was reading your Kindle books. OMG, I sent out an email to my um, the folks that are subscribed to my newsletter, and I gave them my whole reading list. However, I may have neglected to mention, I'm not sure, that yeah, actually it's Lexi that's reading these books to me. <laughs> I, it's not that I don't like to read, but as I've gotten um, a little mature in age, sometimes I fall asleep when I'm reading a book. Well, actually, sometimes I fall asleep when Lexi's reading me the book too, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. <laughs> and Richard said, I can do that too. Okay, Richard, can you have um, Google read you your Kindle books or does it have to be in Goodreads or or whatever Google books or, or whatever that is so thanks for letting me know that um, my right now my uh, I do have a um, Google mini but it's hmm, right now it's out of commission and I haven't tried to troubleshoot to figure out why it's not connecting I'm just so immersed now in this whole world of Amazon Echo. So let's let's get to Echo. What are my Kindle books? Here are your Kindle books. Oh, see now y'all know what I've been reading. I'm reading a big podcast by David Hooper. I definitely recommend that one. All these things are in my shop as well. The Story Behind by Emily Prokoff. Our good buddy Pat Flynn. Everybody loves Pat Flynn. His book super fans and then I've just got a few other titles there that I can just oh I'll also give a shout out to my friend Pamela Gomez she's got a book there so I've read a quite a few and of course she also will read your audible books to you as well so I am just <laughs> all over I, I have access to this all over my home as well as in the car because I actually have the uh, Echo car play device, which is very affordable. That one I think was only like $25, but I think you still may have to um, apply for that one. I guess they just want to confirm that you actually have the Echo installed before you can have one that goes in the car with you as well so I can catch up on my reading that way as well <laughs> so yes oh my goodness so what do you guys think would you think about buying uh, an echo device you know you can uh, invest as little as uh, I believe it's forty dollars and just get the dot which is the small little disc that's very short and you know sit on your desktop or whatever and you can do a lot of these things you know you can get your Kindle books of course you can get your briefings and you know every week they send you a whole list of new commands that you can ask of uh, Lexi and so and I also subscribe to the Prime insider flash briefing which keeps you up with all the stuff that you can get with Amazon Prime because yeah let's face it I got Amazon Prime <laughs> all right so let me turn her off for a minute huh. brought to you by the power vested in me at Ecamm Live mm -mm -mm. all right let's get couple of more little emotes up here because I want you guys to um, just see some of the things you can do with these stream labs and if you've never seen or heard or don't know what I'm talking about with stream labs 
they have their own version of OBS as well. But one of the things that I love is that there's an integration between Streamlabs and Ecamm Live and also um, I'm using a stream deck and I'm trying to think is there, there I think there's probably some things that you can do with the stream deck as well so for example another thing that I have not shown you guys yet today is that I can put up uh, the chat let's see if I can make that go so I can keep the chat on screen so this way if I didn't want to keep going back and putting your guys comments up this chat widget here and I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger make it a little bit easier for you guys to read and uh, for myself to read as well <laughs> so I just said welcome to the chat now this one Rick's comment came in before I put the up so I'll have to bring his up and it says nice video how do you put your picture up top like that what software are you using thanks okay Rick I'm glad you asked check the link in the description to this video because right now I'm using Ecamm Live which is a Mac only software and that when you do the picture in picture which is what you were talking about I can place that anywhere on the screen so let me just go back to my Echo Show and we'll swap those around because I don't want her in the thing. I'll be in the picture in picture. And so now you see that I'm there at the top right, but if I wanted to, I could be at the bottom or I could be over on the side. And in addition to that, I can also go square or I could go wide. So it's a wonderful, wonderful thing about Ecamm Live. And you also can use the tall aspect ratio, which is good for uh, re pre recording your stories, your Instagram stories, Facebook stories, Snapchat stories, or whatever from your computer from the tall mode. Let me just show you that. And so, yeah, you have to reposition yourself to make yourself right inside of that so I'm glad you asked and like I said you also see I'm I'm sorry I had to move it over so I can make it smaller you know I can resize it on the fly so <laughs> so I hope that answers your question Rick and I hope you're also a Mac user if not there's another tool that I can tell you guys about that you can use but not for live streaming but for pre-recorded videos, you can use this tool called Loom. That's L-O-O-M. And it's a uh, Chrome extension. So you would just go to the Chrome extension store and search for Loom. L-O-O-M. And uh, I believe there's one more. Let me see if I can remember the name of it. Because I have it here. Oh, there's another one from our friends at Wistia that's called Soapbox. So those are for pre-recorded videos, not for live streams. For live streams, as far as I know, Ecamm Live is the only one that lets you have this round uh, picture in picture. And um, I've, I've never seen anyone use that from OBS, so I'm not 100% sure about that, though. Yeah, oh, yes, you're using Mac. Okay, great. Well, make sure that you check my link there and you can get a free trial. And I'm just going to type that link in here, too. And I'm a, a, a big advocate. So it's Eileen.link slash Ecamm with two M's. Ecamm Live. And Katie is saying that Loom is awesome. I haven't recorded any tutorials yet, but stay tuned. Yay, Katie. Yes, I am so glad to hear that because I know that you're going to be so good with doing tutorials, Katie. And so I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Okay, I talked about Amazon-itis, right? So I got to show you all a little bit more of my Amazon-itis. <laughs> 
<laughs> couple more things here in fact this one yeah I guess I kind of saved this for a little quick unboxing with you guys uh, these are the in-ear sports headphones now one day they're going to let me go back to Planet Fitness. I don't know what day that's going to be. <laughs> I hope it's not too much longer from now. <laughs> but these are also good for if you're a person that uses earbuds when you're live streaming. Especially if you have guests on and or if you are in doing interviews and things like that. Uh, a lot of people like to use earbuds in order to keep down on the um, echo that can happen at times. Hey, Reggie Digital, how are you? Great to see you. <laughs> so, these bad boys are only like 10 or 11 bucks. And what's cool about them is, let's, let's get them open here. What's cool about these, and I actually got recommended... Uh, to these, I got introduced to these by Laura Petrucci from Live Streaming Pros, and she always wears them when she's live streaming. I actually don't typically wear earbuds, but because it serves a dual purpose, I can also. They're good for when I'm working out. Like I said, if they ever let me back to the gym, and let's just okay, let's just put the the um, comment widget over here yeah okay so we can get these out of here all right and i love that it comes with a carrying case like i said for like 10 bucks you can't beat that and so there you have it quick little unboxing there but what's cool about them is that and this is the way Laria does it, is that you actually put the cord behind you. I'm not going to take it out, but just so you'll know. And you'll see her show these on her live streams. And you got to make sure you got the left one in the left and the right one in the right. So I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, right. That's backwards for you, sorry. <laughs> and then it's hidden. Then you can wrap the cord around the top of your ear. So if, if you've got hair, then it really will not show because the cord goes down your back. And it looks like they have this little clip here that you can use to attach to the back of your shirt. And then... The extra long cord makes it so that it's easy for you to plug that in to wherever your sound is coming from. Okay, and I dropped that on the floor. But that's okay. Alright, one more. Um, I, I bought a bunch of Amazon stuff. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. But <laughs> there's just one more that I haven't unboxed yet. So I might as well do that with you guys and actually um okay this is a secret all right my friend a lot of you have been around here before you hear me talk about mr rodney okay mr rodney he's my friend and he lives well, he's, he lives across the street from me he's got a couple houses but one of them is directly across the street from me so mr rodney doesn't have internet that's because he spends his money on houses and not internet. <laughs> but I showed him how he can use his Chromecast. You know, he's got a smartphone now. That's another thing. He just got a smartphone like three months ago. And so he'll cast to my TV. And then he came up with the idea, well, won't that work on my TV across the street? And I'm like, no, my internet is not going to go that far. But ho, 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 I was wrong. Because guess what? Mr. Rodney can tap into my internet. Shh, don't tell Verizon. Can tap into my internet. And he likes to um, watch concerts. He's been watching 
Earth, Wind, and Fire, Miles Davis, Muddy Waters, some of the stuff I don't even watch myself. Well, of course, you know, Stevie Wonder, we watched a whole Stevie Wonder concert from the 70s the other day. Yesterday, in fact, that was. And so, he has the Chromecast Ultra. Now, I've had Chromecast since they first came out, but I did not have this Ultra. And so, I said, you know what? I need to get one of those for myself because sometimes my Chromecast is a little finicky. I don't know about you now. Are you guys using Chromecast at all? Let me know if, you, if you're using Google Chromecast. If you have the Ultra, let me know that as well. Okay. And, you know, I love that I can have anything on my phone, even though I have iPhone. Well, not everything on my phone. I take that back. Not everything on, on my phone I can cast. I'll say 80% of what I want to cast, I can cast. But also from my computer. So a lot of times I need something that may be on my phone. I can't cast it from my phone, but I can cast it from my computer. But it just means a little bit of an inconvenience because I could be in another room. You know, and then I have to get up and remember to shut the computer off when I'm done. If I'm watching movies, which I don't normally watch movies, but hey, when you're stuck in the house for three months, you start watching movies. <laughs> so, for example, my Apple TV. You know, they gave everybody, when Apple TV was first introduced, they gave everybody a, a special deal on it, right? I'm going to put this down because you guys aren't commenting right now anyway. They gave everybody a special deal on the Apple TV. Well, if I'm watching Apple TV on my phone, I cannot cast that to my TV with Chromecast. If I had an Apple TV device, I could. But why buy an Apple TV device to watch Apple TV when I don't even really watch movies? It's just temporary setback. <laughs> and now I have my... Uh, Echo Show, so I definitely don't need Apple TV. <laughs> oh, and Richard says, I have the Chromecast also, and I can show stuff on the TV from both computer and phone. Yes. There you go. So have you ever signed up for Apple TV, or have you ever thought about uh, using Apple TV, Richard? They had one um, series on there that I wanted to watch because it was about a podcaster. And Elsie Escobar from She Podcast recommended it. All right, so I'm a little struggling to get this out of here. Oh, <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's just that I had to figure out to stick my finger in, in the little hole. And so this plugs into, if you've got an HDMI port on your TV. Actually, this is magnetized. So it just plugs into. Now, what Mr. Rodney had to do, he has an older TV. It does have the HDMI, HDMI port, which is what this is. It's like a, a fatter USB. And Reggie says, haven't used my Chromecast in about two years. Now I can't even connect it to my internet now. Oh. If try installing the Google Home app if you haven't done that already install the google home app on your phone because i'm pretty sure you have the iphone and even if you don't doesn't matter that google home app and then it should discover the chromecast as a device and then you should be able to set it back up again because we used to have to enter a code and all that stuff but you don't now because of the google home it will recognize that there's a Chromecast in the house. Because that's I just did it for Mr. Rodney. And like I said, he's across the street, and he's connected up to my stuff. <laughs> and as I was saying, his TV is a little bit older. You know, he does have the HDMI port, but it, and it is a flat screen TV. It's not that old, like the one my uncle had. Oh, that's a whole nother story. But he actually had to plug it in. 
he actually had to plug it in. So, uh, you know, you plug it into the TV with this, the HDMI side, and then you plug it in to the wall. You know, you plug this part into the Chromecast. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have to do that or not, and then plug it into an outlet. So, because as you see, I just unboxed it. So, I don't know if one, I, because the one that I have now, the old original Chromecast device, um, I did not have to plug it in. So, I'm going to assume that I don't. Oh, okay. And Richard said, no, I don't have the Apple TV. Okay. Yeah. I, you know. I only bought the service Apple TV, which is, is, you know, it might be a little confusing because there's an app called Apple TV that you can install on your computer if you have a Mac, I believe. I'm not sure if you could do it on PC or not. Really don't know. Yeah, 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 you probably can do it on PC. Um, there's it, so there's the app that you can cons install on your computer. But then there's actually the physical device, the Apple TV device. And so uh, that may be a little confusing. But then you also can get a, a subscription to Apple TV. Let's go over to the website. Let's see. Wait, before I do that, there's one more thing I need to do here. I need to pop my chat out from YouTube. Keep that popped out. some emotes to keep you occupied while I'm setting this up here. <laughs> I love this little emote widget from Streamlabs. I really do. I love that, you know, you just have to use the appropriate emotes, you know, and so for those who missed it earlier, I gave up. Hey, Jazz Bean Entertainment, how are you? Earlier, I put some of my Nene's out there. Oh, gosh, you guys never got a chance to learn about Nene. Because I usually only have her out over on Twitch. Well, on Twitch, you can create your own custom emotes. All right? So it's like emojis, but on Twitch, they call them emotes. And so the first one I created, I took my name, which is I-L-E-A-N-E, -E, and I spelled it backwards. E-N-A-E-L-I. A nail eye. A nail eye. And so we call her Nene for short. So let me just give you a couple Nene's and a couple Lilies. Because we have a second one too that we call Lily. <laughs> and and I am controlling this. We also have a nail eye three, so that's all you know. <laughs> I'm actually controlling this because the cool thing about Twitch is that your chat is always there. So I actually have my Twitch chat popped out and I'm triggering off these emotes, which I'm probably only going to do this today. I'm not going to, but I'm not going to promise because I love it. I love, I love, I like this little uh, microphone here. Let me give you a couple of those. <laughs> so actually, you could go over to Twitch. I'm not saying that you do, but if you were over on Twitch, you could type emotes as well, and they would also show up on <laughs> my broadcast. So it could even be emotes from another channel you subscribe to. It would be fine with me because Twitch has to approve all emotes. All right. <laughs> so let's see if I go over Apple TV website. started getting confused. It, uh, I'm not going to screen share yet because I don't have it set up. Okay, I got it set up now. All right, so let's see if we can get the right window showing here. So there you go. And so I'll show you the, the um, movie that I watched. Let's see if we can find it here in the lineup. 
some reason I can't recall the name of it off the top of my head but it was good it was very good and well, it's just gonna move oh see full lineup Oh, it wants to open the Apple TV. No, I don't want you to do that. Oh, there it is. Truth Be Told. OMG. That was really, really good. I really like this. And uh, it was... Let's see. I always forget the lady's name. I believe her name is Octavia. Yeah, Octavia Spencer. And Lizzie Kaplan and Aaron Paul. It was a very, very good, you know, it was a tale of a podcaster who, because of her podcast, someone was wrongly convicted for a crime. Actually, a murder, because who cares about a crime? It's got to be a murder, right, in order for it to make it to, <laughs> into a movie. Okay, so, oh, I think my friend, my buddy is here. Good morning, my dear. <laughs> Instructional Design Lady is here, y'all. Make sure y'all follow Instructional Design Lady. So let's get our chat back up here. So we got a few things going on here. We got the chat widget. Let's see if we can get the chat widget going. There it is. And we've got the emotes going on here. You know, I need a producer. I need somebody to push all these buttons for me. <laughs> and let's go back and see what over, what else is going on over here with Echo. All right, so we talked about Apple TV. And uh, would you like to chat with an Alexa Fry social box? <laughs> Wait, she started asking me something, but I'm not sure what she means. Let me swap out, swap cameras. Would you like to chat with an Alexa? She asked me if I would like to chat with an Alexa Prize social bot. Yes. Alexa Prize is currently disabled for this account. Uh -huh. Please visit the skills store in the Alexa. Okay, yes, I disabled it. All right. So what it was, Alexa Prize was a competition that they held. And uh, I, ha I would have to go back into my app and turn that back on. Because I turned it off. Because I was a little... Eh, they were okay. You know, I, I don't want to put anybody's prize down because I didn't spend too much time with it. But I didn't find anything interesting fast enough for me. You know, we're all in the rush, rush, rush world. <laughs> so, but I just wanted you to know about my, my Amazon-itis and what, how it's got me to this show. Echo show. So just another quick recap before we go today unless you guys have any questions about uh, the smart home devices uh, the Amazon Echo devices are on sale today and like I said my links are in the description if you'd like to order something go to settings in the Alexa app and enable voice purchasing she's prompting me to enable voice purchasing which is which could be very convenient for those who want to build their their food shopping list or their shopping for their different staples. Because of my podcast, I was wrongfully accused of eating my son's pizza. Because of your podcast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and Studio Geek said he tweeted out the stream. Thank you so much, Studio Geek. <laughs> I don't know what your kind of shenanigans you got going on and there and Donna's here hey Donna just being real hey 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 okay so with this Amazon Echo device oh uh, just a quick recap right you can first of all change your wake word so I've changed my wake word to Echo so that it doesn't trigger all of your devices all right so echo what's the weather like today right now in philadelphia it's 65 degrees fahrenheit with cloudy skies today's forecast has lots of clouds with a high of 78 degrees and a low of 60 degrees have a good morning elaine yes she does 
uh, still call me Elaine. If anybody heard that, it, I don't know if anyone out there knows how I can get my Lexi to call me Eileen instead of Elaine. I've tried everything. I've even tweeted to uh, support. Well, I emailed them first. Then I also even tweeted to them, like, how can I get her? I don't know. To me, this would be a very simple skill. This is the only thing I really don't like about these devices because I know my name is not unusual a name. I mean, just think of all the people that have names that maybe they're not even in English, right? <laughs> even though they may speak English, okay, but their name isn't. You sh they should have a skill that allows us to tell uh, the device how to pronounce our name so that she doesn't pronounce it incorrectly, okay? But I'm just going <sighs> to... Take a deep breath and not let it bother me. Although she does still address me as Elaine. <laughs> and this morning I was trying. I thought, well, maybe they've worked on Because this has been going on for two years for me. And this morning I failed. It was a fail. Because I, you know, I just got this show. I've always just had the regular Amazon Echo. And so let me bring her over. What I have here is inside of a charger. So that makes this portable. Now the one that I purchased, well actually they sent this to me. Um, as a matter of fact, I need to state that. It's from Mission. However, they don't sell them anymore. Okay? So, but there's others out there. there was this spe specific company, I guess they went out of business sending all the um, techie folks. These <laughs> devices get reviews. And, you know, there's, they, they got a lot of competition. So this is the one that, this is the one that made Mr. Rodney realize that he can get the signal because he borrowed it. He took it across the street and it was just playing his music because he likes to listen to music on the Echo. Now, the Chromecast, uh, in addition to, I forgot to tell you guys I'm this. Not sure. In addition to listening to music and concerts on the Chromecast, he loves to watch the fix-it videos like how to repair lawnmowers, how to fix plumbing, how to rewire, electric, how to fix dishwashers because he's had all those problems recently. <laughs> and Richard says, I even tried spelling the name and that doesn't work either. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've tried everything. I've tried everything. The only time I can even get her to say my name is if I say, Simon says, you know, I would say Echo in my case. Echo, Simon says, say Eileen. Say Eileen. No, and then she says, I mean. So she's still not saying it right. <laughs> That's the only real complaint that I have. Now, also, of course, I wish that I could watch my YouTube on my Echo, but... That's that's a whole deal with, you know, the same way I, you can't watch. Um, no, maybe you can watch YouTube on your Apple TV. If I had an Apple TV device, that device, one of the apps that would be on that device is probably YouTube. But if I wanted to watch YouTube videos, uh, I believe it was about with a, within a year when they first introduced Echo that Google and Amazon got into some kind of a dispute. I don't know if it was I don't know if it was a, she started showing me Prime Video. I don't know if it was a copyright issue or um, I have a sneaky suspicion that it had something to do with ads because if you're watching them on your Amazon device then you probably can't see the Google ads over the YouTube ads and maybe 
Amazon doesn't want you to see the Google YouTube ads because they want to show you their ads. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, one of the other things that I wanted to show you guys about this device is in the settings. Let's see if I can scrub through now and get to try to do it while. Nope. For some reason, I don't know if it senses that I'm using my left hand instead of my right. I just don't feel like reaching over. Somewhere in these settings, I told it because when you first purchased it, you can watch YouTube on Apple TV. However, Roku lets you control it better than the Apple TV. Okay, so you have an Apple TV device then, right? Okay, yeah, but I want to be able to watch it on here. <laughs> Because I actually can watch YouTube already on my smart TV, even without the Chromecast. But like as you mentioned, Anitra, you can't control it as well on if you're doing it with your the smart TV YouTube app. Whereas when you do it with your phone, now, here's the thing when you Chromecast with your phone, YouTube, right? Here's the thing. You can comment while you're watching something. Like, oh, usually that only matters if it's a live stream. All right. You want to chat. You can do that. But, uh, well, from the phone, you can't at mention people because a lot of times when I go to a live stream, people are saying hi and they're tagging me, but I can't tag them back because I'm on my phone. So, so anyway, let's see if I can show you guys some of the other things do here communicate in the um all right what announce drop-ins message no oh it's the home screen that i that i liked to let you guys know about in the beginning when you first get your wallpaper i believe it's under okay yeah I'm surprised they didn't show it to me that I needed to get a stand. However, today I ordered a stand. <laughs> yes, I have a second version of it. For some reason, Apple TV gives you what it wants you to see. I heard that the latest version of Apple TV allows you to have more control. Yeah. And, you know, that's another. It's like I can't buy all these devices. <laughs> So I decided to go with the Amazon devices as, as opposed to the Apple devices. In my head, I thought it's probably going to cost me less money because, you know, everything Apple is more expensive. And I, I thought once I get into that Apple ecosystem with my peripherals, that's just going to end up costing me a lot of money. However, I must say at this point, I think it doesn't matter because this Echo thing is costing me a lot <laughs> because I'm just like obsessed now. I have to have all the things. All right, so let's see if we can get this here. Let's swap the cameras around again. All right, so, oh man, it's, it's, it went back. Oh, I have to get to the settings. talk so long it went back okay settings because what will happen is it will start showing you the news and that's the last thing I want to do if that's the case I would just watch TV I don't want to see the news flashing up on that screen in the beginning so as I mentioned earlier you can have your own photos uploaded to Amazon photo and of course if you have prime they give you space for that oh this is Facebook so you can connect Facebook and choose photos from your Facebook album, but no, that's okay. No, no thanks. Alexa app photos. I'm not sure what's the difference between that and the Amazon photo. I, it doesn't matter. So I chose nature 
but there was also a, a setting in here and actually I can't find it right now where I had to turn on and I, I turned it off so I'm glad I did where it was flat in between showing all these beautiful pictures of the nature that I have it on it was showing me news you know like something happened over in China oh no thank you I'm, I'm, I'm good I don't want to see that <laughs> and so I, I didn't uh, take notes of how I changed it but I went in there and I got rid of all those things and I may have done that from the mobile device because I think it's a little bit easier. My sense of touch, or it it's sensing my touch, is maybe not as good as I would like it to be. But I have that problem with a lot of different devices. In fact, that's one reason why I don't use my thumbprint to um, turn my phone on and things. Even before I had facial recognition, you were able to use your thumbprint. That nah, never worked for me. So... Well, that's okay. <laughs> I'm used to it now, so yeah, 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 yeah. So let's see. Let's see what we can get going here. Keep you guys, get you guys some popcorn. Keep you fed before we. <laughs> I just love this. Uh, Anitra, I'm not sure if you were here. These widgets are coming from Twitch. And so I'm able, there's a new emote from Streamlabs. So I'm able to even show off my little nay nay to my friends here on YouTube. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, I probably need to update my little nay nay here. Uh, whenever I can get to see my lovely Shelly from Hair Studio 712 instead of this um, Miss Eileen going to try to make it look halfway decent. Then I'll probably do a little update on Nene. <laughs> Nene and Lili. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I'm supposed to get... Oh, yeah, you, you keep mentioning this new laptop, Richard. So, so excited about it. Tell me, first of all, where did you get your laptop? Second of all, what is it? What, what kind of specs you got on this bad boy? <laughs> Yes, wonderful. Thanks, Anitra. So, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's got to be exciting to get, you know, even though I started off talking about Amazon-itis, but it's not just Amazon. Like, I think we all need to placate ourselves by buying some new gear. I recommend it highly. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. It's done wonders for my complexion. <laughs> You know, it boosts your spirits. It makes you feel super good. So Richard Clarkson, he mentioned it over on our Twitch stream yesterday that he was getting a new uh, laptop. And so I want to hear more about it, Richard. Tell me. Oh, hi, Kalish. Hello. How are you? Great to see you here. And, uh, yeah, please let me know where you're getting it from and... You know, because I know Amazon is not the only place that we're online shopping. It's just going through the roof. And, you know, I do want to um, send out some kind of positive vibes to those who have these brick and mortar businesses that some of them are shutting their doors down. Um, and, you know, people are just moving to online. And so, you know, I, I just want to send out my my best wishes for everyone because hopefully everybody will still land on their feet and they may have to pivot and um and still keep things going i got it from best buy 17 oh no i7 processor 512 ssd hard drive 16 gigs of ram backlit keyboard omg you sound like you are ready for live streaming, Richard. I expect to see you streaming live on Twitch and on Facebook and here on YouTube. You're in all those places. <laughs> Are you going to do any streaming? Wow. Yeah, I haven't bought a PC in a while. In fact, 
I, it's probably time for me to update this Mac. But I, ha I haven't gone that far yet. So knock on wood. And uh, let's hope. <clears throat> 1080 resolution. Uh, foldable. I think that's what you meant to say. Foldable 360. Unless that's some word that I don't know about. <laughs> Good for you. So I guess I'm going to assume, Richard, that you got a good deal. Happy birthday to Nicole again. Looking forward to you becoming a grandma soon. Oh, thank you for saying that. I don't know if I announced that to everybody here on YouTube, but my darling Nicole, Nicole Pervy, my daughter, in fact, let me take you over to her YouTube channel. You probably won't be able to tell by looking at her. Uh, unless you really, really watch closely, you might be able to see a little chunkiness there in her face, looking a little bit more like her mama than than normal. Um, but she is expecting, and in August, <laughs> uh, hopefully, everything all goes well. She doesn't come too early. It doesn't come too late. <laughs> All right, so hang on. It's taking me a minute to get over there to her. Whew, there you go. Finally getting over to her channel. So let's see. Oh, I'm trying to bring up a video. Let's do some. Somebody's walking their dog. Just so happened to have doggy doo doo in my front lawn. But, you know, she's got the appropriate things to take care of that. So, so I ain't mad at her. <laughs> I just remember the days. Uh, okay, so yeah, you can't really tell that much, but in these, this is Nicole here. In these little recent videos, she does look a little plumpty. <laughs> All right, of course, this this very first one that was um, some a speak one of the speakers that she had at one of her events, and in fact, I will give you guys the link to her. YouTube channel. Better Than Success is her brand. And she's got a real estate league. And Love the Apple ecosystem. Ecosystem has more Apple toys than Google toys. Yes. But in that part is, well, I don't know if that's the case for me. I... I just got too much tech sometimes. So, well, I don't have too much. I kind of wish that everything was would all talk to each other and all play nice with one another. How about that? Because I have the Apple phones. I have the Apple computer. But because of work, I also have the PC. And, you know, when it came to the smart devices, I just found that um, the uh, Amazon, the Echo, I wanted to make sure I'm not saying the wrong word. The Echo would just fit my needs better. And because I'm already, I've am already, i already got all those Kindle books, because that's what this this live stream is really about, about reading those Kindle books. You know, you buy these books, or, you know, a lot of times when authors' books first come out, they're able to offer them for free or for 99 cents in the first few days right or if they have a promotion for it or whatever and so I was collecting all these books but never reading them because you know I was like I don't have a Kindle device and huh so that was kind of I switched over to Audible and started like reading all my books with Audible but then I don't know what made me I didn't see a video about this or anything something just made me ask my my friend Lexi if she could read my Kindle book to me and she did and this was about two years ago and I was like oh my gosh she can read the book yes <laughs> and I'm like they don't promote that they need to promote that I mean it's in Lexi's voice but still it beats not reading the book collecting all those books and not reading them at all does Amazon Echo have an app that will read Kindle books. 
I don't think you can do it from the app. I have not tried that, Anitra. I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't do it from the app. You have to have the device for that. For that. Okay, so. <laughs> Even Facebook is producing tech devices just for Facebook. Yes, there's the portal. And uh, one of my coaches, John Eric from Adventure Social, he has it. Oh, also Stephanie Liu from Lights Camera Live. She's, um, these are people that I know that I've actually watched their portal live streams. And originally, John Eric was showing it from profiles. You know, you could just go to the profile. You could go live with it. But I, I, I think it's not the core um, usage of it. It's just live streaming is what always comes to my mind, right? But it's just for you to have chats with people via video. And it's easier for folks to use these devices like the Echo and the Portal, especially when you're talking about the elderly and all that stuff. I don't have my setup to make phone calls, but if I did, I would just say, call grandma, right? And then if grandma was all set up, because of course I would go over to grandma's house. Now, I'm just making this up, okay, because all my grandmoms are gone. Rest in peace, you guys. Uh, all <laughs> Rest in peace, Nana and grandma. Um what we call it, one Nana and the other one Grandma. <laughs> but, you know, you would have it all set up for Grandma, right? Or Grandpa. And that way they could see you. And same way with Portal, the, the, the idea is for you to just be able to easily, you know, call my daughter so that somebody who's non-techie wouldn't have to grab the phone, do all this stuff. And the other cool thing about the portal is that it follows you around. So you can be moving around in the room. And I think portal is the only device that's doing that. Um, there's other devices that do it, but not with the same functionality as portal. Okay, let's see what Reggie says here. Oh, he has a hybrid, a laptop that can fold into a tablet. Cool. Oh, Richard, well, he'll show it off tomorrow. I, um, you guys may be, well, R Reggie's not on Facebook, but we'll get, we'll get Richard to show it off somewhere, somehow. <laughs> okay, yes, and that comment came in there twice. Okay, <laughs> you must be on mobile. So, yeah, the portal has been around for a while now, but they extended it so not just live streaming from your profile you also can live stream into groups and you can live stream in onto your page so and the hub does that too okay good richard <laughs> richard loves that hub i mean that's the thing whichever one you guys pick it really doesn't matter if you pick even if you pick the portal i wouldn't advocate for the portal only because um, the portal is really Facebook centric and you know a lot of people that because I'm already live streaming because I already have FaceTime my daughter and I can do FaceTime or, or whatever you know I wouldn't recommend portal but for those it depends upon your family situation and all that and if you decide to go down the, the route of Google and if Google suits your needs then you could, you know, invest in that Google Hub like Richard has, you know, and Richard is in, has invested into his PC type um, stuff, you know. For me, it's Apple and Amazon. Uh, I was just disappointed. The only disappointment that I had with the Google was that I couldn't listen because I only had the little mini. I didn't have the hub like Richard has, but I couldn't listen to my YouTube videos. And I don't know why they haven't fixed that. So, 
because I only started with the mini, it was easy for me to kick it to the curb. Like, I'm not just going to go into this Lexi thing now. Because <laughs> if I'm not going to be able to watch my YouTube videos, then I might as well stick with Lexi. Because Lexi was my first. That was my first love. Who's Amazon Echo? I started with the dot. And I, when I upgraded to the plus, because I have the Echo Plus in my bedroom, I, they said you can trade in. I traded that bad boy in. I'm like, okay, I don't need the dot. Can talk to both iOS and Android. Yay! Great. Great. <laughs> oh, I use Duo. I'm sorry, I left this part out for those who are following along. I use Duo whenever possible for video chats. Much cleaner. Oh, cool. See, my only problem with Duo is that I need to have somebody else who's using it to talk to. Like somebody in my family. Or like, I have girlfriends. Okay. Here's another group of people that I would love to talk with. I have girlfriends that I grew up with. Okay, so that means they're like the same age as me. We're not spring chickens, although we all still look kind of young. <laughs> and they don't want Facebook. Most of them have Android phones. They don't want Facebook. They don't understand, oh, like Google. Like if I say install Google Duo, they'll be like, I'm not even going to install Facebook. There's no way I'm going to install Google Duo. What is that? And now I'm I'm thinking some of them have Gmail, so I may get them to try Meet. I'm not sure, but now everybody's just talking about Zoom. But even the same girlfriends that don't want to have nothing to do with Facebook, don't want to have nothing to do with Zoom, don't even know what Google Duo is. In fact, I haven't even used Google Duo myself. I did install it, though, at Richard's um, suggestion. I did install it, but I never have used it. So, you know, we're all at our different stages of tech. And so, like, for example, my daughter's baby shower. Of course, it's going to be a virtual baby shower. And we're going to just use Zoom. That's what she's comfortable with. And so, you know, others will have to get on board. But, you know, we've got these messenger rooms now from Facebook. And, oh, yeah, that's another thing. That portal, I believe that portal connects with the messenger rooms. I'm not 100% sure about that. I think it does, though. I'm pretty sure it does. And if it doesn't right today, it will soon. So just hang in there for that if you happen to have portal. Uh, Eileen, have you tried Google Duo? Oh, that, that's what I was just saying, Katie. Have you tried Google Duo for video chat? I've only talked with family a couple times, but plan on using it more soon. What's your take on it? I, no, I was just saying, I've never actually used it because I don't have anybody in my family to talk to who uses it. Richard had mentioned it to me that he loves using it with his family, so I installed it, but I haven't used it yet. And it works for the phone. All you do is put in the phone number. It ver verifies it, and then you're set to go. Yeah, and that's the way the messenger rooms work as well. Now, although you guys know I've been, I talk about Facebook a lot here, I actually haven't tried the messenger rooms yet either. So, <laughs> we should do a duo chat sometime with all this extra time at home. Okay, Katie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Message me on Facebook because I'm not connected with you on Google. So Richard loves it. Richard loves it. He says Duo is fantastic. So there you go. You know, we're all in these different ecosystems and I'm glad that we're all being able to use our technology to stay connected with one another. That means a lot, especially in times like now. And as things change going forward you know there are little by little some states i'm just talking about the united states some states are going into what they're calling the yellow zone and some restrictions are being eased thank goodness we just have to be strong for a little while longer but things are just never going to be the same as they were you know but the thing is, B, 
because of technology, we're able to communicate with one another. We're able to, uh, you know, a lot of us, we have a message that we want to get out to the world. We want to um, spread that message. And we've got all these different tools at our disposal. You know, Richard's saying that you can do the group chat on Duo, too. So, you know, we've, we've got all these tools at our disposal now. And so I just want you guys to, oh, you know, hear about as many of the things that we can use in order to um, just shout from the rooftops <laughs> inside of our houses. And uh, Reg doesn't like the portal. <laughs> but Reg, you know, he expresses himself in his podcast and in his YouTube channel and uh, and probably other places that I don't even know about. But, I, you know, my goal for you is that you're not afraid to get on camera or to get on the mic or to say Whatever it is that you have pent up inside of you or that you know can be helpful or you can entertain or you can inspire someone and make this world a more beautiful place. And with that, I shall thank you again for joining me today. And as I bid you adieu, I will say what I always say in parting, and that is, stay beautiful. Bye for now.